I think the fashion and, and the music side of it um, is different for everybody. For me, they went hand in hand. Don't you feel unstoppable? Don't you feel unbreakable? Both, you know, my passion started with music and then I started to really, really love the visual side of it. So if I ended up maybe not being a singer, I probably would have went into the visual creative side within a record company. Um, but I just, I absolutely love it. Like, I pretty much have been playing dress up for, since I was four and haven't really stopped. So I don't really care what I wear. And <laughs> um, I have this like real obsession for like ugly shoes. Like even though I know and I'm aware they look like large Lego pieces or big ugly tractors, I love them. For me, it was just really cool from the first minute that I was able to walk onto the stage. I wanted people to kind of maybe understand what kind of an artist I was um, and wanted to continue that through each performance on the show, you know, and use that really as like my platform. Are you untouchable? Are you invincible? I'm really kind of inspired by like the kawaii, like Japanese, like kind of cute thing, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so I've kind of just kept that like going and mum says I'm the hardest person ever to buy for because I change my mind every, you know, this what I like this month, I'll not maybe like next month but um, I'm just enjoying it, I just, my, my voice is free so my fashion should probably just be free. <laughs>